Hello everyone, I uh, just wanted to post, uh, finally got around to posting this mod. I did it on my uh, 430 hmm, about a year ago, um, and I did it with uh, cool um, white LEDs, and this time I did it with the warm white, just because um, after a while it gets a little fatiguing looking at the really bright white. Um, you know, you can... Um, probably change that by putting resistors in line or potentiometer or something but uh, I did a full LED lighting mod on the cluster um, I recorded this a few minutes ago but I did in super high quality HD 2k ultra you know with the new phone and uh, it was just too big to upload so I'm doing it again um, hopefully this will get a little bit of a, a clearer picture so um, let me see here Go ahead and start it up here and so this is what you get um the very even uniform bright uh very bright cluster um in comparison to stock and it's still dimmable you know you can still dim it out you know bring it back up all that good stuff but um the only little side effects is that it can be so bright that it bleeds through to your um, traction light there because um, that's off that's on it that's off um, and your little limit light there which we don't use here in the US anyway um, I was thinking about putting a little bit of either electrical tape on the back side of that or something to black that out um, so far as the, the triangle for the um, traction control I'm not too worried about it I just like the effects um, looking at it now, the warm white looks just like stock but brighter, kind of looks like a earlier Lexus backlighting, um, you know, 92, 93, but it's definitely brighter than stock, um, and you get that quick LED response, um, but, uh, you know, I haven't changed out these. Uh, for the displays there or anything like that. Um, I just recently fixed those because when I bought the car they didn't work and you can see they're fully functional now uh, all the way up there. So uh, if anybody's interested I, I'm gonna post a write-up uh, which is probably where you'll find this video and then also um, if you're interested in having this done if you're <clears throat> not sorry I'm sick here if you're not uh, comfortable doing this yourself um, I'm happy to help, happy to make a little kit, um, you know, I think the, the parts cost me seven or eight dollars altogether. I use LED strips where you can cut them in intervals and re-solder them together and, you know, some, some people aren't comfortable with soldering and I understand that, um, and there is quite a bit of soldering to do in this. It's not difficult soldering, it's just a good amount, um. But uh, other than that, these, these LEDs, I use them for a lot of things. I use them for home theater, um, and I run them for hundreds of hours nonstop straight, you know, behind my TV and speakers and things, and I haven't had a failure yet. So um, they're pretty good, you know, for, for the quality. You can go all different ranges of color from reds to orange to blue to aqua blue and purple anything in between um, and like I said I'm using the warm white on this one and I used the cool white last time and then I changed these out to blue uh, or bluish I I just let the the bluish filters that are already in there kind of put the blue hue in there with uh, with the cool white LEDs so um, but right now they're just the stock incandescent bulbs everything else is LED um, so uh, I'm going to post this up, I'm going to post up the write-up and some pictures, and I hope everybody enjoys and gets some use out of it, and uh, feel free to ask any questions. Take care.